Hello, today I'm going to present you with the Pilot P650C motorhome. It's a video I shot at the CMT trade fair in Stuttgart. Unfortunately, I wasn't used to the camera, so the quality is not particularly good. I tried digitally stabilizing it, but unfortunately it hasn't made much difference. However, I think I have since learned to use the camera and some of the things I've filmed since have been uh, a little bit better. In fact, you probably have seen the things I've filmed since because I have been posting them. Anyway, to get onto the van, it measures 649 times 230 centimeters. It's 275 centimeters high. It's got four belted positions and two sleeping places in an island bed, which is adjustable. And there's a further single bed as an option, should you so desire. There are five places around the table. The garage offers up to 1,720 liters of storage. Of course, this depends how high the bed is. And uh, there's also 700 kilos of payload, which will be more than sufficient having a full tank of fuel, full tank of water. Maybe you want to carry your wastewater around with you as well and uh, yourselves and all your stuff. The vehicle has an Isotech structure. It's based on the wide track Fiat CCS chassis. Internally, it's got 100% low energy LED lighting and a single wall kitchen with retractable work worktop. It's got high density foam seating and an L shaped lounge. Now, let's go straight over to Stuttgart to see the film. Today is the 15th of January 2018. I'm in Stuttgart at the CMT Trade Fair, Caravan, Motor and Touristic, well, in German, of course. And this is the motorhome section, which I'll be showing you a lot about. This is Pilot's model, P650C. We'll start off here at the back, which is the garage. And let's open it up. And there we've got, uh, we see, first of all, the size of it, 110 um, centimeters high, 68, 66, sorry, wide. What's this here? It's the bed. And you can tell it's the bed, because that's where beds go. And we've got these things here, which suggests that the bed goes up and down. And you can see sort of the runners there as well. Now, high bed means you get stacks of stuff in the garage. Low bed means you'll get less in the garage, but you might be able to get yourself in the bed. So let's have a look some of the more, some more details. 649 centimeters long, so that's about the perfect uh, size, in my opinion. That's a, it's about like between something, something around that. And uh, let's have a look at the cost. If you're looking at uh, getting it, okay, here we've got a price, 64,239. This is starting price, you can get all sorts of extra things. And I'll have a quick uh, word about some of the extra things you can get. Um, airbags, you can get cruise control, daylight running, lights, fog lamps, you can get uh, traction control, you can get hill and, uh, what do you call that, hill uh, holder on your brake, um, you can get uh, or you can get a radio, a rear uh, camera, solar panels, uh, and oh, an ice, uh, insulated water uh, tank, get the Truma dual control should you want it. Right, well they're all extras which you can probably get anywhere in just about every vehicle. Um, or alternatively you might have to actually buy it yourself and put it in, which is what you normally have to do with most motorhomes. Right, let's uh, go inside and have a look. I quite like this. It's a van for two people. There's just a bed for two people. So there we have it. Up and down it goes electrically making more room in the garage now if I were to uh, and get in there very easily so I'll just sort of stand by because I'm filming this by myself but there you see see it's not even uh, well it's, it's above my knee but uh, it's not uh, it's not particularly high that's easy enough to get into now personally I would like it more without the step in uh, but at that price, unfortunately, we're not going. We're going to have to put it with a step, and also there's going to be a step at the other end as well. We'll see that in a short while. We've got hanging space at either side of the queen bed, and let's come in. We've got up there a skylight, and we've got windows at either side. The bathroom 
is nicely illuminated quite large really and it's got a very sensible sliding door look how little room that sliding door takes up okay so there we have it's also got a duckboard which I'm pretty keen on I'm gonna lift it up and it's got another duckboard beneath it and we can see that there only appears to be one plug hole in it I do prefer to have two as you will know. Now, another feature here is it slides backwards and forwards. So the door, the wall comes out like this if you don't want to see yourself in the mirror and you don't want to be near the toilet. Having said that, you're going to have to slide it in and out because the shower head is behind there. So there's the shower head. So you wash yourself at the sink, you don't have to do that. But if you want a shower, you don't have to do that. Personally, I'm not so keen on this. I prefer to be able to pull the shower out, uh, okay, get the toilet wet, of course, and uh, maybe some things around here wet as well. But at least I can shave myself in the shower. Okay, so we appear to have a bit of storage there as well. And there it is. You get plenty of soaps and creams and other things there. There's the mirror and there's me in it. Now let's have a look down here. There's the lounge. Now plenty of standing height thanks to the fact that there isn't a spare bed in here. So if there's two of you that's fair enough. If there's 17 of you it probably won't do. Now sitting here in the passenger chair we can see we've got a seat there should you want to sit in the doorway and not sit there if you, you've got your telly up there so you can sit here with your feet up there should you so want I won't put my feet on the chair as I've been outside although the weather's quite nice the shoes aren't wet Cup chairs are very comfortable and okay kitchen so we've got a sink we've got Two, three, sorry, three burners. Two burners. Got two burners, sorry. Which I think really is fair enough. Which means you've got a bit more space here. You've got a very big table. You can do your prep there. Let's have a look at these drawers. Plenty of space there. And uh, in there as well. Got a tower fridge here and storage above the fridge. With a box inside. So let's have a look at the van from the outside now shall we? So it's a, on a Fiat base. It's semi-integrated. And we're not going to walk all the way around because it's closed. So this is what Pilot's got here on offer. Frankia yeah, here as well, some lovely vans from Frankia. Yeah. We'll have a look at also Le Voyageur, which is over here, which is the uh, more exclusive. Uh, well, Frankia is also <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> uh, all part of the same group. This vehicle is absolutely amazing and I'll show you why it's amazing. It hasn't got any uh, mirrors. It's got cameras instead. I'm going to show you that in another film. Right, so uh, let's have a look at some of the vehicles in other films. Yeah.